Our guest this morning is the director of KNF Property. It's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce Gaetano in our studios this morning to talk about investment property. Good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. Thank you. Uh, Gaetano, first of all, if I want to buy an investment property, where do I start? Uh, the start of investing uh, in property is, begins with having an approach, uh, the right approach. First of all, it has to be a long-term approach, usually seven to ten years. Anything under seven years is considered speculation. Uh, one needs to put into context their personal goals, where they want to be in seven years or before that or even after that. Uh, the, their own financial goals are very important in the way they manage debt or what level of comfort they have in, um, in, in managing uh, debt in dealing with the banks in the meantime. Uh, also, the investment goals are very important, uh, okay. knowing how many properties to buy okay. up front. Being my first investment, uh, is that a sort of a limit I should spend? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, one needs to take a little bit of a, a snapshot of your personal circumstances and your financial situation. Uh, that'll dictate a little bit what, how much you can sort of borrow. And um, the, it's that level of borrowing that actually dictates the type of property you can then uh, go, up, go, go off and purchase. So how do I know whether this is going to work for me? Well, once we have the investment goal in mind, the amount of money that we want to achieve after a certain amount of time, we're able to um, put in, uh, use a financial uh, calculator, a program which allows you to analyze the property. And we're able to put in the input, the, the rent, the interest rate, the amount of money you earn to understand how much tax money you're getting back. So we can work out what type of particular property or what, what features that particular property has to have uh, so your investment goals can be achieved in, in that amount of time. Okay. Where can I find a good property? Well, Melbourne's a very good place to start. First of all, um, it's a little bit less volatile than other cities in, uh, in Australia. And uh, one can be quite uh, conservative and focus on growth areas in Melbourne, which are doing quite well today, or perhaps uh, focus on the inner circles of this around Melbourne. Uh, which are more dictated by demographic changes, a little bit more riskier, hard to predict. But if one wants to be quite uh, tranquil and uh, conservative and quite uh, reassured, uh, popular gro uh, areas of population growth are usually the, the more predictable. Uh, so the location really depends on your borrowing capacity. So yeah. where it depends on how much you can afford really to spend. The property type will depend whether you uh, are trying to achieve capital growth over the years or you're close to retirement and you say you want, you'd want you like a rental income, which is more important than selling a property after a certain amount of time. What's involved in buying uh, the property? Derek, uh, buying a property is not so much different from uh, buying your own home. You can obviously buy something off the plan and have huge savings on stamp duty, which has a very uh, positive effect on the growth of your portfolio and the growth of the, um, the type of return you will get from this property. Uh, or you can prefer, you, you could buy something existing, which will pro perhaps will not give you too much tax benefits, uh, but it's something that you can see and, and uh, inspect quite easily. So the process, you obviously have to hire a conveyancer to go through the contract, mm. uh, perhaps uh, do a bit of research, make sure you've got a right team of people around you, get the right uh, loan advisor to make sure your finance is structured in a way that uh, you borrow and you can you can also borrow again in the future. What's the minimum deposit should I find? Well, the minimum that the banks require is usually 10%. Uh, this may be in form of cash or also as a form of security against another existing property. Uh, it is advisable many times to borrow the whole amount for tax reasons. So 10% um, is the minimum, Derek, um, plus sometimes some low mortgage insurance. So it could be around between 10 and 12%. Uh, what's the return I should expect? It's a very good question, Derek. Uh, many people think that just because they buy uh, a $400,000 property, they think that the gain is compared to the $400,000, which is not. Um, I have the tendency of asking people what are they comfortable with in terms of uh, annual expenses. So we can create a model to the amount of money that you're prepared to contribute to hold this property. And this can vary de depending on the family circumstances and depending on the investor circumstances. It can be zero, and therefore you have a neutral geared property. It can be positively geared, which is, means that you're making money, or um, it can be negative geared, which means that it's costing you a certain amount of money. But you can predetermine that. Mm -hmm. So by saying, look, I'm prepared to spend two, three thousand dollars a year, which is probably about uh, fifty to thirty dollars a week, um, that should be enough uh, to design a investment model such that we can 
find the right investment that suits that type of model based on the amount of tax you're getting back, the amount of rent you're paying. Mm. Now, uh, for example, now I have uh, got the property, got the loan approved. How do I find a good tenant? Well, the tenant is very important because they pay the rent and obviously with that you can sort of pay the mortgage. Uh, the, um, obviously with a good property, uh, with the right property and uh, the median rent, one sort of attracts the right type of tenant uh, for that type of investment. Uh, if you're under, under charging or you're scared to lose a tenant and you tend not to uh, have increases, these things can work against you. So it's best to use a property manager who uh, stands between the, the uh, landlord's interest and the tenant's interest and so they can regulate the, the, um, the agreement, the uh, tenancy agreement. It's been very interesting talking about investment properties. Uh, let me wish you all the very best uh, for all the valuable advice you have given our viewers and keep up the good work and like to see you again in a, for another interview. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank Thanks. You.